PSS Syncal provides the possibility of importing PSSE networks based on supported PSSE files. Based on this imported network model, more advanced simulations, for example, for harmonics, protection, or EMT, can then be performed in PSS Syncal. Start PSS Syncal and open a new electrical network. Import the PSSE files through File, Import, PSSE. Supported PSSE data files are the RAW file, the graphic file. PSS Syncal can support both DRAW as well as LOC graphic files, the sequence file, and the diary file. If all four files are available, more data is imported and more calculations can be made based on the imported network. As a minimum, a RAW file is required. The imported network will be adequate for load flow calculations and for calculations that don't need zero system data, such as three-phase short circuits. For calculations requiring zero system data, such as asymmetric faults, the sequence file will be needed. For dynamic calculations, the diary file will also be needed. In the case where the user has a slider file instead of a draw file, this can be converted into a draw file inside PSSE. In this example, we will import the PSSE example network, SAVNW, into PSS Syncal. For PSSE versions above 31, the version number can be auto-detected from the raw file. For all previous versions, the user will need to specify the version number in the import. Imports are available for PSSE networks from version 27 upwards. A plausibility check is performed automatically as part of the import function. If this is completed successfully, this will be documented in the PSS Syncal message window. In this example, the import was completed successfully with one warning, which is also listed in the message window. It is recommended that users check through the warnings to better understand network behavior and in critical cases, adjustments to the original or resulting network may need to be made. Critical warnings may lead to non-convergence and other difficulties in working with the resulting PSS Syncal network. Generally, we recommend that the PSSE model be checked for all nodes having a network voltage, consistency of rated voltage on lines, and the resulting PSS Syncal model be checked for plausibility of nameplate values of transformers, plausibility of transformer tap ranges and zero sequence data. To verify that the import function correctly transforms the PSSE model into a PSS Syncal model, a load flow calculation will now be performed in both systems and results compared within PSS Syncal. Firstly, a new variant will be created for the PSSE load flow. For users with an existing PSSE license, a PSSE load flow can be calculated in PSS Syncal under Calculate Load Flow PSSE. Results are displayed in the Network Editor as well as contained in the database result tables. To have a comparison, a PSS Syncal load flow is now performed and results will be put in the base variant. A variant comparison can be made of the voltages at nodes, and these results displayed in the network editor. Due to the differences in calculation algorithms, it cannot be expected that load flow results of the two programs be exactly equal. It is, however, important that they be within a sensible range. A quick check of a few nodes demonstrates that the load flow results have node voltages with a minimal difference of a few percentage points, which verifies that the import function was completed successfully. For the case where no graphic file is available, the network data can still be imported and calculations can still be performed. Furthermore, PSS Syncal has the ability to generate a network graphic from network topology data. To see this, start a new import with the same PSSE example files, this time without a graphic file. Again, the import plausibility test is automatically run. Results in the message window show that the import completed successfully, with one warning. 
Without graphics data, the network editor shows an empty page. In tabular view, the network data is available and a load flow calculation can be performed. Results can be seen in the table under load flow. For the user, often it is more intuitive to work with a network schematic. This can be generated automatically from the topology data in PSS SYNCAL through the update graphic function. Open the network browser, switch on the update graphics function. In the network browser, the nodes as well as the connected topology are shown. PSS SYNCAL provides various possibilities in how graphics are to be generated. Manual lets the user manually drag and drop each node into the network editor. Connected elements will automatically be generated. This option is useful in small networks where the user has a specific network graphic in mind. Connected elements once a node has been placed in the network graphic, all elements connected to the node will automatically be generated. Options are given for the layout format and type of nodes to be considered. Now drag and drop a node into the network graphic. All connected elements are now generated. A check to see whether all network elements have a graphic can now be performed. In the network browser, right click, choose check graphic. In the check graphic dialog box, choose all elements. Now perform the check. This verification tool found zero objects with missing graphic data, indicating that all elements of the network have a graphic and are connected according to the topology data. It is now possible to continue working with the network graphic as usual.